Now, while that part is drying, let's talk about the next portion of this, which is the base piece of it. Now, the base piece that this slides over is simply these two little parts. You've got this little tab with two holes and uh, um, the tab that fits inside there. Now, when looking at this piece, this square tab on the long end here keys into this square hole with this portion of the tab keying into that notch right there. So it goes in that kind of a position. Now, again, this part is specific to a right or a left thumb. So if we lay this part down on our desk with, a, this, with the hole facing up and the slot to the bottom, and we set our part on top of it, again, keying this square into that square, like that. Now, if I was to assemble those two parts in that orientation, because this tab faces to the right, that tells me I'm building a right thumb. If I wanted to build this part as a left thumb, what I would have to do is take this plate on the bottom and flip it over once. And then this would sit down on here. I could assemble them that way. And with the hole at the top, the tab is pointing to the left, so that tells me I'm building a left thumb. So for this particular finger, we're doing right, so I'm going to flip that back over. And we're going to take that large square guy, and we're going to press it right in there. And again, just kind of press it in. Hole on the top, tab to the right, part for a right thumb. Uh, pretty simple, and then we'll just go ahead and glue it up. And again, I'm going to work from the tab side here, and just give it a light run of super glue. Then I'll flip it over and run a little bit on the joints, trying to avoid gluing my fingers. And that kind of does it. So we'll set that apart, side apart, part aside, and let it dry. Now <coughs> comes our finger base. And we've done a bunch of these. This is exactly like our other finger bases. So we're going to grab a tiny bit of our Vaseline here. And we're going to Vaseline up our screw so that we do not, again, glue our screw to our part. And then just kind of dab it off so we don't have too much. Get our fingers wiped down really well because you do not want to be getting Vaseline all over your parts as you assemble because it will cause your glue not to stick well. And we're going to go ahead and assemble this part. Uh, so looking clean side, kind of not so clean side, we're going to drop the screw in from the not so clean side. Then we're going to look at our little tabs. This is our clean side or not clean side. So again, the clean side facing the outside of our part. So that guy goes right in there. Oops. Have to put that back in before we're done. Get on there. And again, making sure we don't push too much. Just kind of if you have a problem starting to get those to go together, you're better to stop and give them a little extra sanding than to try to force your parts together and have a breakage. So again, just a little quick sanding of the tabs just to kind of give them a, a little bit better fit will make your parts go together. And again, the reason we have this is material thickness. As the material comes in, it varies in thickness and I can't control that. So some parts are gonna fit tight, some are gonna fit a little looser. You just kind of work with them as they come in. a little bit of a chip in this one. I'm just going to pop it out of there and finish pressing this together. Whoops. See, I'm sure you guys have fought with this a bunch. If you do lose it, you can kind of just spread your two things like that and then slip it back in and then bring them back together. Okay. And then again, we take our spacing jig and we slide it on there. Kind of helps hold everything, and we just want to make sure that everything is tightly pressed together. Piece right there it does does not want to go together. Okay. All righty. 
Okay, so we'll take our super glue. And this one we're going to try to be a little more careful to not glue that screw. And we're just going to give it a run. Okay, and we will set that aside to let it dry. Okay, <clears throat> that should be it for our glue for this particular assembly. Close up our stuff here. 